Gamers of Reddit, what gaming experience will you never forget and why? I married a man in Star Wars Galaxies and my town threw a huge wedding celebration for us. After the gifts and speeches we went back to his place and I stole everything he owned. In actuality I was a 13 year old boy posing as a lady and my buddy was the wedding planner and convinced the town to make sure to bring gifts. He even got paid by the town. The entire thing was premeditated and we laughed for days and days non-stop. Absolutely loved this game. The first, and only, time I beat another human in a game of Starcraft 2 1v1, because I realized, hey, I outplayed this guy. I didn't have teammates who could carry or feed and neither did he, I just played better than him overall, and that's why I won. It felt great to know that I beat someone because I played the game better than them on an individual level, without having to factor anybody else into the equation. I mean, who the hell scans? sees that I have a bunch of tanks seated up on the high ground with other units supporting them, and then tries to push up the ramp anyway? And then, a few games after that, I placed in bronze 3. <laughs> Having like 20 people in my Minecraft server, and everything going to poop once someone got flint and steel. <laughs> Killing the Lich King for the first time in World of Warcraft. It was super intense and took so much planning and so many attempts. I'll never forget how we all screamed when we did it. Mine will always be when Rock Band and Guitar Hero were all the rage. Those games are by far my favorite gaming memories. All of my friends huddled around a TV in the basement with our shitty plastic instruments rocking out and having a good time. There hasn't been a co-op experience like them since and probably never will be again. I miss those games so much. First time playing Skyrim. The first time seeing that opening scene was pretty exciting. Also, being murdered by townspeople because I killed a chicken a short while later. First time playing Skyrim was like nothing I've ever experienced before. I felt like I could do anything, go anywhere, and in my own way. I don't know if I'm ever going to feel the same sense of wonder and exploration I felt the first time I played Skyrim. The first 20 minutes of The Last of Us. This ducking game gets you instantly invested in a few characters within a ridiculously short time. And then subsequently breaks your heart harder than any game ever broke it before. Also the first hour of God of War. The boss fight with the stranger is quite possibly the greatest thing I've ever experienced in a video game to date. Hopping into my favorite server on Counter Strike Source no matter what time of day, and always seeing a familiar face that just wanted to chill while fragging. No one cared about doing well, just rather getting to hang out with like-minded people. It's always something that I felt was missing from CS, go. Sure you can queue matchmaking with friends, but the decline of private servers took away that central hub that everyone could join. First time getting to Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time. The kids today that grew up with 3D open world games have no idea just how mind blowing it was when it was new. Learning the big secret of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic about your main character for the first time. I didn't complete the game until way after it was released, I was really young when it came out and didn't even know what Star Wars was, but I never saw anything about it since it seemed like a forgotten game. I have to say, when the big reveal happened, I was shocked and excited. When I was around 4, I was playing Mario Kart on the SNES with my older brother who was around 7 years old. I was falling behind and he refused to wait for me to catch up. I got angry and bit him. I know it's weird, but it's just stuck in my memory. That was the first and last time I bit someone and it was over a video game. Riding into Mexico in Red Dead Redemption. The music comes in at it's absolutely perfect. That was just such an incredible moment. Truly a beautiful emotional experience. Just simple and delicate but I felt like I was really there for those few moments. I felt free. The first little sister encounter in Bioshock. Modern Warfare 2 was my introduction into online games. I had to beg my grandparents to get Wii for the house so I could play with my friends. One school night it's like 3 in the morning and I'm playing search and destroy with my friends. We get put into a lobby with a whole clan and they start talking ungodly amounts of shit. Here I am in my undies, 
middle of the night and yelling all kinds of shit back at them. I just remember us winning and us rubbing it in the noses while we watch as they all leave the lobby one by one. Those were the days man. Killing my dog in Minecraft, I misclicked with a bone, trying to tame it, and accidentally hit it and I had to end its life. Killing Parthernax. I still feel bad about it years later. Beating Halo 3 on Legendary with my brother split screen on a small TV in our room. It took us weeks to get to the last level and then it took us hours to get past the part where you drive the warthog to the ship where the ground keeps falling down. It was one of the best moments I've felt after beating a game. I used to play Shadow of the Colossus with my little brother watching and commenting besides me, and this is such a nice memory for me, especially now that we've grown apart and we don't see each other that much anymore. Installing this thing called Steam so that I could play Half-Life 2 when it released at midnight. Played through the whole thing in a single 6 to 8 hour sitting. Loved every bit of the experience. First time playing any game of the Dark Souls series. Sekiro and Bloodborne included. I haven't find a single game that I felt the same thing while trying to explore and know the world as I did with Dark Souls 3. I can't describe the feeling of going into these games for a blind playthrough. First time raiding in WoW was just an amazing experience too. My first Souls game was Dark Souls 3, and as soon as I finished it I went and played through the first one. It was as good as I had hoped. And with Sekiro being so damn amazing I now will buy pretty much anything from software sales because they are one of the few game developers who can consistently make masterpieces, and nail it every time. World of Warcraft Cataclysm, was in college at the time and had 9 real life friends all playing. We had a 54 hour sky call that at least 2 of the 9 people were on constantly. I would say the days me and my friends played through the entirety of Borderlands 2. I honestly would never play through the game alone, as it isn't really my type of game. But honestly, probably some of the best memories I have gaming is me finding a huge rock, climbing on top of it, and singing the circle of life as all four of us fought to stay on top of the rock using vehicles. We kept trying and trying to push each other off. It wasn't a memorable moment because of the game, or the setting. It was memorable because it was just plain dumb fun with my friends. And I'll always remember that. Getting my first, and only, nuke on Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I was in 5th grade at the time and I made this whole plan with where to camp and run around dad to keep myself as safe as possible, along with using the heartbeat sensor to know when people were coming after me. I essentially sat at the enemy spawn for the entire match of domination, and when I ran out of ammo in my primary gun there was only around 30 seconds left in the match so I ran out into the middle of the map. I started getting shot when I turned a corner and ran straight at the guy and knifed him. I immediately died after, but that one last kill was all I needed as I got the nuke and called it in. The Psycho Mantis fight of Metal Gear Solid. Snake. Plug your controller into the second controller port. Nowadays, such a thing would be considered trite or a cute gimmick at best, but for the time period when it came out, 1998, and the first time I played it, I was probably about 10 or 12 at the time, it was mind blowing. For people who don't know what I'm talking about, in the first Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation, and later ported to GameCube, there's a boss you end up fighting called Psycho Mantis. He claims to be a true psychic and proves it to you by saying things like I'll make your controller move through sheer force of will and then causing it to vibrate. He comments on other games you've played, reading your memory card, makes you think he's turned off the game by doing the default and put screen. And even avoids all of your attacks until an ally calls and tells you to plug your controller into the second controller port. It was amazing. When I grew up we always had that sort of kitty computer which wasn't all bad but installing a game was always kind of a jeopardy. It just might not work. So back in 2005, World of Warcraft had finally gotten traction and the news had begun reporting about the online sensation. People were discussing how big it actually were and the possibilities it offered. So at Christmas, I finally got it. I was overjoyed and couldn't wait to get home and plug it in. For those who doesn't remember, it had 5 or 6 discs, which meant 5 or 6 chances of something ducking up for my PC. 
As far as I remember, it took about 8 hours to install with me constantly leaping in the check on it and change CDs. But then, just around dinner time, it finally finished and the old screen of the giant portal appeared. The next year also would be completely dedicated to that game, but I'll never forget that certain kind of curiosity and wonder that WoW brought me on that first encounter. Have your own gaming experience that you will never forget? Leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. See you guys next time.